In the face of this terrible stock market slide and an S&P credit downgrading of both America's credit rating, the government's credit rating, and the government-backed enterprises like Fannie and Freddie, former Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan is not worried. Why? Because he says the U.S. will never face a default so long as the Federal Reserve keeps flooding the U.S. economy with dollars from its printing press. Take a listen. This is not an issue of credit rating. The United States can pay any debt it has because we can always print money to do that. So there is zero probability of default. Because we can always print money. That would be doing, actual, would that actually be worse than a default? Here to discuss St. Lawrence University economics professor Steve Harwood. Steve, it's a pr uh, pleasure. Uh, welcome back. Thanks, Greenspan, Josh. one could argue, created this house of cards. So where does he get off saying, don't worry, we can make ourselves rich by printing cash? Well, if anyone should know, it's him. He's been doing it for the, you know, the last decade of his term in the, at the Fed. All we did was print up cash. That's what got us in this mess in the first place. So, I mean, I, that's actually quite an amazing statement from him. I mean, in one sense, he's correct. We can always print up the money and buy up the Treasury bills and, and, and pay the debt. But the risk of that is extraordinary inflation. I mean, if he's really serious, we're looking at major, major inflation down the road. Because by adding cash to the money supply, right, that's we right. increase the value of everything or that's increase it. the cost, cost of not the value, right. the and, cost of everything out and there. And watch the dollar go down. Now, of course, you know, the banks right now are sitting on a lot of excess reserves, mainly because they think this economy is so in the dumpster that they don't see anyone worth lending to. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. We spend about a trillion a year in defense. We spend about a trillion a year in entitlements. We spent about half a trillion a year in paying interest on the debt. That's two and a half trillion. Yep. That's before we fund the rest of the government. Yep. We collect 2.2 trillion in revenue. How can this last? It doesn't How can up. we keep doing it this? It doesn't add up. You want to know why S&P downgraded? There you go. I mean, this wasn't the Tea Party. This was 40, 50, 75 years in the making right here. Us spending beyond our means, trying to do things we simply can't do and not having the revenues to support that spending and spending that just shouldn't be there in the first place. Why did gold shoot up to more than $1,700 an ounce today? Well, I think what folks are seeing is that as the, as the Dow plunged and as, the, uh, as we had the downgrade, folks are worried, and they're worried about inflation. They're worried about the overall state of the economy. They see gold as a safe investment. Gold's always run against infl uh, inflation. So this is a sign that investors are scared, and, and I think it's not just afraid. It's a rational decision on their part. Are, are Austrian economists like you surprised at all at the downgrade, or could you arguably say we deserved this downgrade yeah. long before today? That's we it. deserve a downgrade a few ticks below this That's, one. No, absolutely. I agree with you completely. This, this was, this, the timing was just was one issue. This was a long time in the making. It could have been downgraded years and years ago. We, we simply look, you look at $15 trillion worth of debt and you look at this economy, there's no way. If, again, if we were a household, we'd be so far in credit card debt, no one would touch us. No one would give us a loan. Right? So wh who, would, who, would, who would, you know, lend us anything? So now, no surprise at all, we see this downgrade, and, and I think it was deserved. And as you say, they could have even gone lower if they really looked at the numbers. Professor Steve Horowitz, it's a pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Thanks My for pleasure. coming here.